Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. For question two, we're going to find the limit as t approaches infinity of a to the t for a equals 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, and 0.4. So, um, to do this by uh, multiplying a by itself, an infinite amount of times is impossible. So we're going to turn this into a diagonal matrix um, with change of basis S. And um, let's, um, making sure I did this correctly. Uh, So we're actually going to take um, if we use the relation we used last time, the diagonal matrix. Um, last time we had D equaling Q A Q inverse. Um, we're going to solve for A. That's going to give us um, A equals Q inverse D Q and this will um, if we take this to the T power, that will take our diagonal matrix to the T power, which is easier to solve. Um, so or which is easier to compute, so the way we find we diagonalize it is we take the determinant of a minus lambda i, which is 0.8 minus lambda, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, and 0.4 minus lambda. The determinant ends up being 0 0.8 minus lambda times 0 0.4 minus lambda minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.2. Setting that equal to zero. This gives us 0 0.32 minus 0.8 lambda minus 0.4 lambda plus lambda squared minus 0.12. And this will give us 0 0.2 minus 1.2 lambda plus lambda squared equal to zero, which is lambda. If we factor it, lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 0 0.2. We get lambda equals 0 0.2 for 1. So our diagonal matrix is 0.2, 0, 0, 1. Um, so to find our eigenvectors, we're going to find B 0.2. We look at the kernel of A minus 0.2i, which is the kernel of 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and if we call this R1, um, R, let's call C1 and C2, we see that C1 um, minus C2 equals 0, and uh, no, let's just a second. Um, we just produce this. We get one 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 zero zero. If we divide the rows by scalars, this gives one one zero 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 zero. Which tells us x equals negative y, y equals y. So x y is a multiple of negative one one. So V of 0 0.2 is negative 1, 1. And if we are looking for V of 1, we take the kernel of A minus 1i, which is the kernel of negative 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, and negative 0.6. So doing this one out.
get one negative three zero 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 which tells us x equals three y y equals y so x y is a multiple of three one so b one equals three one so our change of basis matrix q is negative one one three one and q inverse is 1 over negative 1 minus 3 1 um, negative 3 negative 1 negative 1 uh, we can also make this 1 fourth negative 1 3 1 1 so since a equals Q inverse one fourth times negative one three one one times uh, D zero point two zero zero one times Q, which is negative one three one one um, A to the T is That, which ends up being 0 0.2 to the t on the inside and 1 to the t. So the limit, limit as t approaches infinity of a to the t. One fourth times negative one three one one times the limit as point two goes to infinity, so zero. The limit as uh, t goes to infinity, I'm sorry, I should say point two to the t as t goes to infinity, which is zero. And one to the t as t goes to infinity, which is just one times negative one three one one. Let me just multiply these matrices out. Okay, let's 0, 0, 1, 1. Um, and then multiply the next two matrices, which will give us 3, 3, 1, 1. That's 1 fourth. Answer is 3 fourths. 3 fourths. Uh, 1 fourth. 1 fourth. Or we put it in decimal like the problem gave us. Yeah.